All right, guys, I'm just going to talk because that's what I do. Nobody gives a shit about the debates, whether or not Donald Duck decided to show up. Speaking of, his businesses just got closed in New York City, if you aren't aware. And that's no surprise, he's a fraud, but half this country still falls into his web of lies. <sighs> Meanwhile, he's campaigning at a non-union auto worker plant somewhere up north because this is what's gonna happen. Will you shut up, man? That infamous quote from Biden. Him and Trump, again, in a debate. We're headed there. We're headed there. One of my friends from this community intends on going on a little road trip next summer, and I encourage all of you to do the same because there will be much violence and turmoil around the next election, but that goes without saying. On some climate news, by the way, we live in a plutocracy, so the debates really don't matter, no matter what Vivek Swami says or how TikTok is destroying a generation. Okay, so hurricane season is occurring, I think, like two weeks earlier than usual, and this year, in particular, funds, disaster relief funds from FEMA are not included in the government shutdown bill spending plan, which means they're a strap for cash. So places that are trying to rebuild aren't going to get the assistance. This is a first world country, guys, where we have more billionaires than everywhere else in the world. Okay. Where child poverty is over 10%. This is the country. And hurricane season is just starting this year. So, yeah, mismanagement and a corporate takeover of our government, which basically decimated the middle class, call us the miserable class. You know, I can't honestly blame us. I talk to so many clueless morons every week, and people are aware that there's a climate crisis or that there, at least there's something in the, in the periphery, but the extent of it, you know, the real damage, you know, they can't, we can't perceive long-term threats. This has been argued by a Harvard psychologist, I believe. You can look that up on Google. We cannot recognize long-term threats. I met a woman my age, actually someone my age, a grocery store checker, African-American woman asked her if she didn't sleep well because, well, I wasn't either the past couple days moving. And she said no, but she was also pregnant. Mm-hmm. And she knew the future was horrible. They still know that the future is bad. They. And they still have kids. It's... It's mind-boggling. It's mind-boggling. At this point, if I even met a decent, respectable woman, I mean, I have my criteria, right? Have to be collapse aware, no children, no college debt, uh, funny, nice, kind. Did I say attractive? <laughs> All right, I already know. I already know. It's an impossible, fleeting task that I actually meet um, a partner. In this climate, if you live in America, let's talk about our, let's talk about America, all right? The amount of businesses and houses I see foreclosed and closed and just dec decrepit, deplorable, run down, is, it's almost unimaginable. Like, if you're from another country, I know you have your own problems, but we have ignored the public, all right, the miserable class for so long that it's, it's so blatantly obvious when you go to even large metropolitan areas, but mid-sized cities, businesses closed up, homeless people everywhere. I mean, just abandoned, you know? It's, it is, it's like, it's sad. It's like the zombie apocalypse out here. I saw that video. It's, it's ugly, it's obscene. And as Peter Miller put it to me, Trump is about to put his finishing touches if he wins. I mean, what kind of world would that be? 
So Powerball is up to 980 million. Maybe I might gamble again and lose money or not. And my roommates are very nice here. I have two older guys, I think in their 40s and 50s. One of them's on social security and one of them works at night. So I just see him sporadically throughout the day. I know I won't be here forever. I don't want to be here forever. Uh, I took an opportunity and that's how I got up here. I still have all my possessions on me. And yeah, this community, you guys are so on top of things like I am, you know, daily I read climate and economy. We're on a global slowdown right now. China has its own set of problems. I know they're on their downward spiral. Uh, it's 2023, almost 2024. And the collapse is, is, is visible, you know, if not politically, economically, socially, and climate, um, we're trashing the planet in every way conceivable. New subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm discussing the downfall of civilization and my own personal story of how I got here. Um, I'm safe. One of my subscribers, Armored Monk, uh, might be going through some homelessness and all the patience for you. I mean, just to even pay bills and survive right now is not even having kids. It is an impossibly difficult task, which is why there are so many homeless people here and in, and in many cities across the US. And the people that are entrenched in the system are so diabolical and delusional, it's sickening. Like I met two people recently, of course, Gen Xers. Someone said on my channel, oh, you frame Gen Xers wrongly. Well, I've met thousands of them and they mostly follow the same trend of ignorance and denial and stuck up, you know, self-absorbed call our generation self-absorbed uh it's just americans you know we're all product of our generation and boomers definitely take the cake as some of the most just awful people self-centered a lot of them not all there's certainly some uh i met a programmer just when you talk to these people that are so entrenched in the system is like it's like you're talking through a bubble you know the alienation in this in this capitalist system marx described it it's otherworldly and yeah well what do you seek you seek a community that's what you should be fostering, a community. Or you could be isolated and alone and uh, neurotic, live in your own hell. This is what contentment looks like, no matter what situation I'm in. I have my body, spirit, my energy, my soul, okay, whatever you want to call it. The, the forces that make up me, electrical impulses and hormones and all, they're intact. I'm still intact. And that's, that's important because you can get knocked off real easily. So on a personal note, as I say often, that line, um, you guys are crazy intelligent and keep me sane. I think this is important. This is necessary to create a community and stay in tune with people around the world just for your own sanity. Um, because if you're an alienated, isolated individual, you're you're prone to depression, neuroticism, cynicism, just all the negative attributes. It's literally torture, just like what cities do to you. They suck your soul energy out. Okay, you have to keep yourself intact. So if you've been following me for the past few years, I ended up here because I had a desire to leave a mega metropolis of Dallas, Fort Worth, Dallas, Texas, over a million people. Like, a, yeah, it's a mega metropolis. I lived there half my life, the other half on the West Coast. Nah, it's too expensive. You have more land out there. People are just kind of shallow, you know? I have my own complaints, but in the wildfire season, okay? Um, and so I left Dallas in the pandemic, like most people did, left big cities if they could. And I moved to an even crappier city in a crappier state, hung out there for a while, made one of my best friends of my life. Then I took an opportunity to live up here in the trash can of Ohio. So I'm, you know, I'm making progress for the past three years. It's been stressful, but I'm getting, uh, the goal is to get an up and away from um, evil 
from as much as I can to keep my spirit intact, right, this decade, our last decade, and get to somewhere pleasant and and comfortable, truly serene. You know, wake up, look outside, have a cup of, everybody wants that. Have a cup of coffee and like look at the mountains. And, oh, that would get old after a week. No, -uh, not after you lived a, a poverty stricken adulthood, you know, borderline worst economic system in a hundred years, not working in your favor. And the cherry on top of all of this is I should just, you should just enjoy your fun now. Okay, enjoy your, keep your spirit intact. And I'm glad I have firearms. I have three separate ways and over 500 rounds, something like that. I'm definitely stocked. At any point, if this gets unbearable, I can end it. That's, that's comforting to me. That means I should just enjoy this and, and do my passion, you know? Even though it's meaningless, even though it'll just be dust in the sand. There's a new study that uh, 250 million uh, years from now, continents will merge into one, a super Pangea. And it'll be so insanely hot that most ma all mammals will, there's an expiration date, all mammals will, will die. You just can't cool yourself off, no matter what animal you mammal you are. So, I keep watching content that other creators make, even though I know the story, and this is me as a almost 35-year-old man, fit, healthy, I can run a mile, I'm trying to be free. I wanted to catch you guys up. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.